GDP and its limitations, distribution of GDP, concerns of the non-uniformity. If there is a high degree of wealth inequality, the majority of people do not really benefit from an increased economic output because they cannot afford to buy most of the goods and services. Thus, to accurately describe social welfare, it is essential to consider wealth distribution, non-featuring about production and market transactions. Since GDP measures the value of all finished goods and services within an economy, it also includes products that may have negative effects on social welfare. Think of a country with an extremely strong armaments industry that represents most of its GDP. If the arms are sold and used within the country itself, overall welfare will most likely decrease. Of course, this also holds true for other goods and services that may have adverse effects on society. GDP does not account for domestic or voluntary work, even though these activities have a considerable positive impact on social welfare as they complement the market economy and thus improve the standard of living. On the other hand, GDP does not include black market transactions or other illegal activities that may have a substantial negative impact on overall social well-being. Concerns of externalities Due to the overuse of various components, more and more negative externalities arise. Example, pollution, overfishing and social welfare will decrease as a result. This effect is not included in GDP at all. However, at one point, the positive effects resulting from the increase in consumption opportunities may be outweighed by the negative effects associated with the other limitations. Hence, although GDP may on certain occasions be a good proxy for social welfare, it results in a biased description that may lead to unfavorable conclusions. For more such videos on all subjects, practice questions and a lot more, download iPrep and learn unlimited.